Okay, hello everybody. Finally, they have long been asking Linda for a <laughs> I am ready. We can't, split, so we can't split screen this? No. Uh, it will, it'll be split screen in the video. Right now, oh, what we say, see is not split screen, but okay, it will be in the I video. Okay, little box up there. And you're, yeah, yeah. okay. So, so for everybody, happy, happy birthday. Thank you, girlfriend. Thank you. You know, it's tough turning 39, but I'll get I'll get through it. <laughs> so, well, you got a little I, present. I got me the serenity to accept the things I can't change, and grant me the the marker pen to change the things I can't change. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Did you see the trouble that Trump got in on Twitter with um, uh, John Legend's wife uh, over the? Uh, oh, he messed with the wrong girl. He he messes with the wrong girl. She's got millions of subscribers. Um, Tegan, what's her name? Um, yeah, Chrissy. Chrissy, Tegan. Yeah, yeah he messes with the Legend wrong girl. begging Melania, talk to your husband. He's acting like somebody that has nobody because all he does is sit on Twitter. Yeah, she got him trending. I love it. <laughs> Tegan did. It was great. So you got a little birthday present. John Bolton resigned. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. We never liked him to begin with. Yeah. Uh, listen, I can feel energetically he's furious. I could feel that, right? And then it's not just because Trump didn't agree with him, but then I find out on MSNBC a few minutes ago that he told Trump last night, I'd be happy to give you my resignation. And Trump said, no, just let's talk about it tomorrow. And then when he got up in the morning, he said, you know, yeah, I'm going to give him my resignation. And at the same time, Trump was tweeting that he just asked John Bolton for his resignation. Total lie. Well, there's some, there's something about Bolton's firing uh, that's getting ready to come out. It's moneyed news. Oh, I, I, I'm i wondering if Bolton knows something about the moneyed news. Uh, something Bolton getting ready. is going to get even. Sort, Bolton, sort of true. He'll act nice to Trump. But I see him talking to people at Fox News, giving them scoops that they're going to run with. Yeah, he's going to let some secrets out uh, about what's going on in our government. And yeah, he's going to hammer a knife in Trump's back. He's not happy. Yeah, yeah, he'll probably get called in. He's going after the White House. Yep. And you know what? He wasn't that good to begin with anyway. But he really was. Trump just got him because he tried out for him in Fox News. But yeah. Trump didn't realize there was a lot of things that he just didn't like. And that whole thing with um, Iran or uh, the ta the Taliban, the Taliban. See, everybody's asking because even Pence didn't want him to bring him to the White House. And why did he have to take him? It was all about opportunity to be photographed and saying, here's the, the president making the deal. And it just yeah. and he said, oh, well, they killed somebody. So, no. The week before they killed somebody and they were still talking about it. So yeah, that was just crazy trying to talk to the Taliban. But the, but that's Trump. You know, people keep asking me if if he's like got dementia and going down, you know, getting worse and I'm or Alzheimer's. And I'm like, no, he has always been a liar. He hasn't the changed. Fly fox. Yeah, he's he hasn't Did changed. Did you watch Howard Stern uh, being interviewed by that CNN guy? Um, yeah, Anderson Cooper. Yeah, he said, I'm, t I'm telling you, this was a publicity stunt. The first time he said he'd run for president was because it was advised that he'd do that to get his book sales up, which it did. Yeah. And I guess he did another book. So do you think the House will bring in um, John Bolton to testify about anything? Let me look. John Bolton. Woo, girl. The Ooh, car I got the, uh, there's legal issues coming up big time with him. Girl, I see John Bolton squealing. I can see it as clear as day. Because he's as angry as Trump can be. He's very His emotions are overflowing. He is pissed and he's got that winning at all cost mentality. Yeah, he's gonna he's like taking he's him gonna, out. He's gonna Ooh, girl. But the thing is, is where, where is it? The thing is it's gonna cause trouble for him too but he's so mad he doesn't care he's got he's got information about money he's gonna bring he's got out information about money he's found out he listened let me tell you he listened he was in with the 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 team i even feel like he has something on jared 
I just heard that. Ooh. Did you did you also predict Bolton was going down? Because my my people said, Linda, you predicted this. I don't think I ever looked at Bolton in a video. I, I'd have to go back if I did. It's been a while. Um, I don't remember doing a reading on him. Just um, Boris Karloff, you know, in the UK. Yeah, we I got them coming in and going out. And, and now they've shut down the parliament. We're gonna. We may have to take a look at that. Uh, what do you What do you feel about um, Charlie Kupperman? He's going to be the acting national security advisor. He's going to replace Bolton as an acting. So. He doesn't have to go through any approvals in the Senate. Well, you don't have to go to, through the approvals for uh, that because Bolton didn't have to. Oh, that's right. Who is he, Kupperman? Um, I don't know anything about him. Um, the name sounded familiar. I'm going to have to Google him because I don't know anything about him, like where he's been, what he's been doing. Charlie Kupperman. Charlie Kupperman. Let's check it out, girlfriend. Yeah, I've got my uh, TV on mute. On He's a Russian bot. He's a Russian bot? He's a Russian bot. He's not a, st a stand-up guy. Whoa, he's not a stand-up. He could even try to cause war. He's not looking good. What does your card say? Ooh, uh, yeah, he's 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 got some allies. Um, <laughs> he's he's going to bring some big changes. Um, yeah. And it's not he's, for the good. Yeah, he wants to go after Nancy Pelosi too, but yeah, he's on the take. He is on the take. Yep. Um, he wants a job. He doesn't want to be temporary either. Ooh, and he's like more money coming, but uh, something's going to come out about him. Something, some kind of strong evidence is going to come out about him. Well, listen, this job will break his heart. And look at look at in the. He's scary because he want to use the military for more than what he's 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 like throwing the mil you know like Trump saying oh I say I can work here till I'm till 2026 everybody's afraid that oh my God what if he refuses no once you get a new president sworn in they call in the military and his ass is gone he'll yeah. come out of there squealing so let's take a look at the military. Um using that airport in Scotland to keep Trump's uh, uh, golf place going, um, which, you know, I know. I know nothing about it. You can tell when it's lying because his nostrils flare. Yeah. And it's his deadpan look, just like he did on the plane about the payoff to Stormy. He, he says, you'll have to ask him. Like, no, no, I didn't okay that. And then there was something else just recent, dead face, I said, oh, my God, it's as clear as day. It's when he does that, I know nothing about it that you know. Yeah. Every time he says, I know nothing, he knows. <laughs> he like when he goes to explain himself. Well, actually, no, I don't know anything about it. But So the House, uh, one of the House committees is investigating it. Let's see if, uh, if that's going to bring happens. Also, the him. good news is Scotland cannot stand Trump. Yeah. They absolutely can't. And I the, had a boyfriend I dated for years in our in, in not Ireland in Scotland, and um, I was there a lot. And that, their sense of humor you can't understand a word they're saying when they're drinking. But one day I says to him, Robin, if you were me, what would you do with your hair? And he said, Woman, if I were you, I'd be too busy playing with my breasts than worry about my hair. <laughs> um, okay. So is he is that gonna with the emoluments clause, is that gonna help bring him oh, down? Oh, oh, oh. It's gonna oh, shut him down. It's gonna shut Trump through. down. It's gonna put him in a place that he's gonna look really bad. His uh oh, his, but, his family empire. But the Congress is like on the horse celebrating. We got him. We got him. As prophesied. So this is it's and isn't it? I, I'm still getting he's going to be leaving. I'm still I getting he's going to walk like, away. He's going to say, I don't need this. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to make him an offer he doesn't want the Godfather, you know, make him yeah. an offer he can't refuse. He's, uh, he's, he's got the everybody yeah. coming down on him legally. So I would say, yes, it, it'll be successful. Listen, after Trump goes, though, we're going to change up so this can never happen again.
Oh yeah, they are going to put so much in place. Look at the kitty. The kitty oh, right behind. <laughs> That's Shelly. Oh, she's, she's slightly off screen, probably in the split screen. I'll look. Uh, okay. over. I have five, <laughs> so there's yeah. always one around. <laughs> okay. Now where's so, gonna go? Did uh, did Trump know about Mike Pence staying at his place in Ireland? He oh, says God, no. Yeah. Hell yes. It's like fil Total filming lie. in Shannon. Total lie that he didn't know. Absolutely yes. I don't even have to throw the cards on that. Yeah. He's uh. He definitely he definitely is going to get in trouble on that. There's going to be some kind of documentation that that shows. That's there's what be some, somebody's going to know. Trump at the same time might be having to head out because Pence is a big part of this. Yeah. Now I did a reading the other day. And I'm going to let you do and see what you get. Um, it, is the House and Nancy Pelosi and everybody are they trying? Are they investigating Pence? Are they trying to take him out at the same time as Trump so that he can't pardon Trump? You know, like they took Spiro Agnew out and and then when they took Nixon out, Ford pardoned Nixon. So are they going to try and take... I remember, I was a young girl, but I remember everybody was furious. Yeah, so will they try to take Pence out at the same time so he can't pardon Trump? I keep seeing, I keep, I even see Nancy Pelosi like with a board with a with links and she's showing all these links to pence and trump to russia and to um scandalous scandalous she's got her own sharpie <laughs> it's nothing to do with sex stuff it's all to do we thought epstein might be the one but it's not i'm telling you it's more than epstein it's something yeah, yeah. Ten of swords, one thing after the other, back to back to back. Because I keep getting Pence is going to be gone about the same time Trump is. Like, yep. damn. Packing his bags and heading out. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm telling gonna take you, friend, I can feel it. I can see people. Remember I used to say that watch the rats jump the ship. Absolutely. 15 Republicans. Is it more than 15 now have already resigned? The band is playing on the Titanic and they're all jumping. <laughs> they're just jumping ship. I, can't, I, can't, I, keep feeling, I think something big, you know, I kept getting like he'd either be gone in August or something comes out in August that would cause him to leave. And I think the whole Deutsche Bank thing where the oligarch signed, you know, yeah. his lo co signed his loans, I think that's a big part too. It's huge. But the thing is that the one thing I've learned is it's very hard to give time frames, as you know. We yeah. can feel it coming soon, but we, it's yeah. not necessarily. If you saw eight, it could have been eight weeks, eight months from the time you're talking. Yeah. But, but energetically, it feels like by, and I know we shouldn't talk time frames, but I feel by the end of September, I'll be in Ireland, but I'll be looking for the news because I feel what you call is going to hit the fans. Yeah. My guides told me in January, I did a video in January, but I never posted it because there was something that I thought, mm, I don't want to put that on YouTube. Um, um, but they told me in January, he would not survive 2019. He would not, oh. so he would be gone in 2019. And my friend Sterling, the other psychic guy, he says that too. Yeah. He's going to, he's going to be gone if, you know, before oh, 2019. His ratings are down to 38%. Of course, he was on Twitter saying it's fake. Well, that's because he's got his Sharpie and he's writing his, uh, his ratings higher. <laughs> oh, man. So Did you, I posted something today where this two men are standing looking up in the air and there's a, a Sharpie mark, a circle like this, like this. And they said, well, here comes the hurricane after all. <laughs> okay, so talking about the hurricane, he is not letting people from the Bahamas in to the U.S. Because they're black. Yes. Because there's some very seriously bad hombres there. Yeah. What an idiot. And if you don't have these this kind of information with you, can't people lost everything. There, there, there's like not even land to build a house on if you rebuild. I mean, it's it's just flooded out. It's awful. Yeah. He, um, and it, that that death count's gonna go way up. I, I just oh, feel yeah. like it's gonna go way up. Oh yeah, there's no bad. Yeah, and I they just, can't I, get I to seeing, a lot of places. I keep getting visions of body bags, body bags, body bags right. just lining up. Right. Um, it, it, 
sad to say a lot of, a lot of babies a lot of children i feel like but will will um the court you step know what in breaks my heart too is animals i see a lot of animals dead animals we had um uh here in chicago they brought a plane i live outside of chicago they brought a plane in of some animals um and started fostering them out so the first load of animals that came in uh, for animal rescue, you know, there's there's other people that are trying to help the humans, but uh, they brought the first load of uh, the plane flight in of animals. No, who, who did that? Is it ASPCA or who did it? Um, I think it was done um, through uh, like nonprofit or something. Um, if you I find it, send it to me. I'll send money to them. Okay. Uh, I think it was just a group of um, uh, shelters that got together and decided to do something and, and somebody got a plane and and made it happen so right. uh, i didn't hear who was funding it so well, it maybe i found out a real good i might post it as hope something to donate to help the people because i do not give to the american red cross i just don't. i don't i don't either they they Except take money since Do bob dole's wife was making all that money and all those seat those big wigs make t if you know if their overhead is that big i give to the people that use most of the money yeah. towards the people that need it Okay, so where so, do you want to go? So, so will the court step in and allow people from the Bahamas to come in? Are they suing on this now? Um, I think I think somebody will probably end up suing because Trump just announced he's not like they they said originally like they're going to bring people in just like they did from Haiti, and then Trump stepped in and said no, I'm not allowing anybody in. So I'm going to see. They're the wrong color. Yeah. So will will someone like the? Um, if it was all white folks there, he'd say sure, come on down. Will someone take him to court and allow these people to come in? And there's no food. There's no nothing. There's like they can't support themselves there. They can't survive. It's on the fence. It's almost as if there's so much help coming in. These people are almost like mad at the United States and saying, well, we don't need your help anyway. Because I see them helping to rebuild outside of there. Maybe there's another part of the Caribbean that wasn't damaged. But I see a lot of help coming in. And I see, um, I see a lot of help coming in, too. And it looks to me like another country. That's what I'm getting. I'm there's getting a leader another. from another country coming in and bringing, bringing a lot of um, new, you know, offering support, offering help. Right. Because this is paradise. People don't want to leave the Caribbean. It's not like, oh, Christ, it's a terrible place to stay. It was actually a beautiful place. So, yeah. Yes, I'm not I'm not getting that. Um... It's on the fence, so it's almost like, no, but it, but it ends up, they work out better. These people end up better. Yeah. Because of this. So, let's see. Uh, Mike Flynn. The House is now talking about bringing him in to testify, and then you know his new crazy lawyer uh, from Fox News. Um, they've they've put off the sentencing for a little bit. Uh, something about giving him more time to think about things, like more cooperation he could give. Yeah, but he's pissing off this judge. I'm going to tell you right yeah. now, they're yeah. not very sympathetic to him. They'll let them talk and talk, and then I see them coming with a decision that's going to shock everybody. So will the House bring him in to testify? And if they do, will he tell the truth? I I think he'll lie. I think he's now like back to lying. Well, he really wants Trump to give him a, you know, to give a him a, he. Uh, in fact, Trump may use executive privilege or whatever. He uses that on everybody, even though they didn't work for him. Yeah. Well, Barr, you know. Tell me about Ooh. when. Okay, girl. Ooh, justice will be served. There'll be a party in the street I've got. I <laughs> told you that, girlfriend. Because that judge gonna... is going after him. He's going to be... <laughs> Whoa, which way? He's going to be very disappointed. Oh. Oh, all his traveling and money stuff is going to be coming out too all this thievery yeah um listen the, the russia or whoever these foreign involvements are here too i don't see him communicating right away it could take a year or two 
before they're finally able to bring him forward. But Trump is long gone. So he's not the factor that kicks Trump out. I, I feel like he like they bring him back from jail um, to talk I'm about doing. his betrayal to our country. Um, I feel I, like you know, there's Nancy pulling him back in, but it, it is going to be a while. Yeah, because it's it's like pulling nails with him. I don't know who this attorney is, but she's acting like, you know, he's innocent and he's not. And he knows it. He did, and he's real. Let me tell you something about Donald Trump. And I've said this before to my YouTube subscribers. Donald Trump, if you said the truth to Mueller, you're crap. Even if he acts like, oh, buddy, I got your back. Oh, yeah, I got your back. Nope. He, he, he will remember Hope Hicks. You know, he wasn't out there talking about her or talking to her. She had told the truth to Mueller. She's crap now. They yeah. did fight, but she wasn't, and she thought she was doing Trump a favor. But Trump, at the end of the day, would throw her uh, over the cliff if he could. But Once you talk to Mueller, you're crap. And, and Mike Flynn is crap to him. So, yeah, let him believe that he'll get a... Because I don't see anybody a get out of jail free card. I don't. I don't think he'll end up pardoning anybody. Even Manafort, who you know didn't cooperate and lied and everything, he's not going to pardon him. Well, you know, what's weird he is, he only cares I feel about the desperateness of him leaving. It might be so quickly he doesn't have the chance. Let's say he lost an election, bad bigly, and he's you know going to come forward and uh, probably do a whole bunch of people. Like they do, like presidents do, do. But I almost feel he doesn't have time. So, the, our uh, judicial hearings and all the House hearings, they're all gearing up again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see if there's going to be some quick action uh, now that they're back in. Okay. Let's see what the cards have to say there. And Oh, yeah. I got a victory card right on the bottom. Oh, girl. <laughs> and I also could hear whispering. So there's a lot of stuff. It's, this is what I'm feeling about Pelosi. As I get pissed off at her, uh, uh, she knows something, girlfriend. She knows something, and so she's talking to her constituents, and she's trying to help them make sense of things. But I really feel like she knows, like it's okay to start this. She's not screaming about this. But I really feel, and they're doing it so they can get subpoenas and that kind of stuff done or easier. Ooh, oh, my God, Trump is so unhappy. Did you see the video of him coming back to Washington last night off the helicopter? He looked like he lost his best friend. He was barely even lifting up his feet. He's okay. very unhappy. Did you see Fox News had a, a video where they sped up the speed of him walking to make him look like he was more virile or whatever oh. because he slunks along? And they sped, up, they sped it up to make him look like he was walking faster because he was like just plodding along it was hysterical no he's, he knows crap is getting ready to hit the fans i've got the house has a gift uh that's just been given to him about the money and there's got to be the party in the streets oh this is what i meant to start saying i felt like a lot of the information is not going to be out there it's almost like they're keeping it in like they're holding on to some information like we tend to get things and we're like whoa whoa they're keeping a lid on it they're keeping yeah. a lid on it. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's some secret things that they're uh, they're they're getting and uh, bringing yeah. in. So here's my outcome card. Oh, back Ten it up cups. just a little bit. It's blurry. Ten of cups. All will be healed. And there's, there's a couple something. of directions here. Yeah, there's, there's more than one thing. There's some things we're going to hear about with this thievery, though. There's some things about some of the money things. They're going to let it known and because what I feel like is they want to um, make sure his reputation is known to his supporters about some of the thievery he's done. So they're going to leak some of it exactly. out, but not all of it. Exactly. Some of it they're going to hold close to their chest. Right. So let's see. Do we have anything else we want to look at? Um, Should we look at Wilbur Ross? Oh, well, yeah, let's look at Wilbur Ross wanting to fire people from NOAA. You know, he yeah. was deep in meetings. He was a, a chairman of the uh, Bank of Cyprus. Oh, I just got a flash. I see Trump talking to Wilbur and saying, you know, buddy, I, I love you, but we might, because of the pressure, we might have to get rid of you. Because it's, 
it's making Trump look bad, even he's though got, Trump was happy he did that. He's got big ties to pharmaceutical companies, too. Um, he, well, he does. Yeah, he, he when he was a senator, he invested in pharmaceutical companies and then voted on bills about pharmaceutical company. Like and they, why that, is he still around? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's he like makes money off of uh, insider information, you know, and then passes legislation about it. <laughs> so he's part of the reason our pharmaceutical companies charge so much. Um so and also see. I feel like he hands Trump cash. He makes sure Trump is well taken care of. He's got a he lot of money. He been brought up to Wilbur Ross that he might have to give his resignation. I don't know if Trump said it. Trump doesn't want him to go. He's making Trump nervous, though. He's making him yeah. nervous about Russia. So he knows something about Russia. Um, that's why Trump has kept him around. I mean, what, you know, Trump would never tolerate somebody falling asleep in his meetings unless there was... Something important the guy has that he was doing for him. Wilbur's not doing physically very well. He's not physically very well. How old is he? A <laughs> hundred? He looks it. He looks it. I think he's in his 80s, but he's... he's uh, yeah, he's not he's doing old. very well. Yeah, he's... So uh, he might even say he's not doing physically well and leave. His, he's got some, something that's going to happen to him. But I see him walking away... Um, and, you know, he'll never fess up, but there's a lot yeah. of money that's going to point to him. I've got he's walking away, too. Um, I, got, I got the eight of cups in it. Yep. Yeah, he's making Trump emotional he, and he's making him nervous. It has something to do for me. It, it's like this is my mother Russia card. It has to do with Russia. He's yeah. been strong arming Trump somehow. And um, even the GOP, this is my GOP card. It's like he's got secrets about dealings with that. So, yeah. Uh, there's something but he's been strong arming. He's definitely going to go down for the count. Too much stress. Right now, if you think about it, they're not saying anything, but everybody's talking about him threatening to fire. Yeah. And that's why I see an advisor for Trump talking to Wilbur and saying, you know, it might be best for you to give your resignation yeah. for the president. So what do you feel about Tulsi Gabbard? There's something I weird about think. her. She's not going to win. I do not like, you know, like Marianne Williamson is a different kind of energy form, but I like her, but she's yeah. not going to win, but I like her. I have yeah. no qualms about her, no qualms about Amy or anybody else. But Tulsi Gabbard, when I saw her do the, the video, you know, when they were talking, all she talked about was her service. They asked a question and she didn't answer the question. All she talked about is, you know, when I served, when I served, yes. how about when the president serves? So now she's telling everybody, oh, you mustn't do impeachment because they'll call, tear the nation apart. Oh, like he's not tearing the nation apart right now? Yeah, there's something about her that... Um... You want me to look? Like, is she is she a plant? Is she really, you know, more of a, a Republican or something? There's something about her that. Um... And after the, the 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 Democratic thing, did you notice Fox News and all the Republicans were saying how much they like Tulsi Gabbard? Yeah, she. I feel like that's she's weird. Part, I feel like you know behind the scenes, like she's actually friends or supportive of Trump, and. Um, knows that he's making money off of the government you know and everything he he knows she knows that but um she speaks on both sides of her tongue she's got a forked tongue yeah she's, she she's doesn't gonna be to leaving but i feel like she's got like a, a an agreement with trump somehow i see russia giving money to her like to her ability yeah she already knows she's not gonna yeah, win she's, she's got some agreements with the white house um, and I don't think we'll ever really know. It's something secretive. And and she's got the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So her fortune is changing as we speak, and she knows she's not going to make it. There's she just knows. something really weird about her. I, she didn't I feel make like... 10, right, that, are, that they're going to be talking? She didn't make the 10, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like, like Bullock, but Bullock is just, oh, I gave him money. The problem is when you give money to these people, your email gets filled, your box gets filled with 
And it's all very personal because I thought, oh, he needs me. He said, Linda, I really need your help. So I give money. Linda, it's dire now. It's like, what the hell? Yep. I'm not your sugar lady. Marianne Williamson, uh, you know, I, I know her from, you know, all her metaphysical uh, books and everything and, you know, very enlightened woman. But when you watch her videos on Marianne Williamson 2020, um, her videos on YouTube, she's got the number one thing that she wants to do is my number one thing, which is get the money out of politics. There get you go. the lobbyists out, get the money out, because yeah. nothing else will come together. She and probably energetically is just not able to... America isn't ready for her yet. She's yeah. kind of way beyond it. She would be an excellent person. if I hope they bring her in the administration. Because yeah. she comes from a place like all of us, you know. Yeah. But okay. she uh, she knows something beyond all this. Yeah. And, and my guy, Eckhart Tolle, loves her. So if my guy loves her, I'm, I'm in. But I, I, I never saw her winning. I never saw her winning. I'd like I'd like to see her run for senate or something. Get her foot in the door in politics. Yeah, there get, you go. Senate and get in there because I, I feel like we're going to do something. Is she in <laughs> California? Yes. Oh well, California would vote for her. Yeah, yeah. I think I yeah. Her her agenda. Her uh, when you listen to her videos is like spot on. It's like nothing else will change with anything else till they get the money out of politics. And she has a real good uh, way of putting it together. The way she speaks is very smart you know yeah she some, something more with love in it mm -hmm. why are people so afraid of love you know yeah and making fun of love it's like have yeah. we gone that rabbit hole so dark that we now, were she afraid of love me off when she wrote somebody said something and she said well uh something about prayers and she said well you know um then you shouldn't vote if you don't believe in the power of prayer, you shouldn't be voting. And I didn't like that statement. I told her, you know, I was like, yeah. dude, you know what? What somebody else has to say isn't going to be determining anybody's vote. You know, you, you can't do that. You can't tell people, well, because you believe in this, you can't. What she said was coming from ego. So you still there? You froze. Yeah, it froze up for a second. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's like, you know, you, you can't affect other people's free will or anything, but, you know, all we can do is love and support each other and love ourselves, you know, love ourselves and be kind to ourselves and take time away from politics, do something, right. you know, I, I, I've been telling my people, I started guitar lessons oh. at, at 58 years old, I, I'm just, you know, learning I've, I've only been doing it for a little over a month and i'm loving it because it's very meditative and i can't think about politics or anything when i'm practicing guitar um so do something you know i advise everybody do something for yourself yeah are you gonna bring your guitar to sedona probably not because i'm unless i get a lot better by then <laughs> hey, uh, we got one cancellation a woman realized she couldn't make it and uh gave us a nice early you know because and so i was gone i wasn't at my computer at home where i can refund from paypal and yeah. i knew there would be no problem selling her ticket and um i i said okay honey when i get back to the house i'll do it by the time i got back to the house some somebody had already taken her spot because i was able to get rid of her on on the thing but somebody must be sitting there waiting for it yeah, I've had a couple of people tell me they're watching for cancellations. So yeah. <laughs> they're sitting there just sitting waiting for somebody to cancel. And yeah. um, or even if it's like last minute, they're they're yeah. like, well, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch if there's a cancellation. Well, the Linda, are you doing something special for your birthday? Huh? Are you doing something special for your birthday tonight? My son got a job. He's graduated from college, got the very first job that he went up for as a, as a land surveyor. And he's going to be a civil engineer in the next couple of years because he goes to school every Monday night. And he actually wrote me and said, Mom, I'd like to take you out for your birthday. And, and my, in his 26 years of life, that's the first time he's offered to take me out. So wonderful. I'm very happy I'm bringing my other son, Jeffrey. Wonderful. Um, well, I'll we'll have lobster. No. <laughs> <laughs> You might you might be at a In and Out Burger with um, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm having a 
having fun. I get to talk to you. I'm doing a video tonight with uh, Thomas John, the psychic medium. Uh, he's going to tape it and then they send it to me and I can post that too. So I'll have, and I'll probably do my own video today too. So I'm video day today because I have no appointments today. And it's so nice to wake up. But although, you know, I really have fun with my clients. Yeah. Each one is a new adventure. I, you know, it's so much fun doing the personal readings and I'm so behind. I, I, I want to apologize to any of my viewers. I'm so behind in emails. I don't have an assistant or anyone. It's just me. I, so like I book out like three weeks in advance and then like I'm not answering my emails fast enough. So I do apologize to everybody. I, I get to them. I try to do first come first. How so, are you doing with your poison? Was it poison oak or poison? Po poison ivy. I've got like just two little bumps left, that, okay. but it's much better. It's not itching anymore, but I've, I've got two little bumps, one on each side of my thumb here. Um, wow. And I'm trying to be careful and not get the oil on my cards because I'm handling my cards because, you know, I, I could spread it back to myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah, it's like, and you uh, didn't touch your face. That's the main thing. I didn't touch my face. I and, and you know, and if you watch videos with me, I'm always sitting with my hands, head on my hands and stuff, but I, I, I try real hard not to touch my face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, sweetie, it was a delight talking to you today. It was wonderful. And I, I can't wait to to get to Sedona next year. I'm so excited about well, that. We're gonna, gonna have a fun. good time. Yeah. I'm so thank you, over. everyone, and have a thank wonderful, you. lovely birthday today. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Thank you, guys.